Okay, so this is going to be our fuse and breaker panel located on one of our travel trailers, but it's going to be uh, the same thing pretty much through our motorized division as well. To open, to display the breakers and the fuses, push in, and the door will actually flip right down. What you're going to find is AC alternating current, which is household power, is going to be all on your left side. It's going to be labeled things like main, AC, GFI is going to be the receptacle plugs, microwave circuit, reefer is refrigerator, Converter is actually the charger that charges the batteries up, and this is the electric element on the water heater. So that's gonna be all of your household appliance side of things. Next, you're gonna have a series of automotive fuses over here. This is gonna be what controls the lights, the water pump, uh, all of the 12 volt accessories in this whole trailer, like the stereo, things like that. You'll see a label right over here. Also, usually when one of these is blown, you'll see a red indicator light to the right of the fuse. So this is going to be a basic troubleshooting. Um, if you don't have lights that are working in a certain place of the trailer, I would check these. If you don't have, like, the air conditioner is not working, but the microwave is, I would go and check the air conditioner circuit. One more thing I want to show you outside of this box is going to be the GFI located in the bathroom. If you lost all of your receptacles uh, outside, inside, this reset on the GFI controls all of the outlets in the entire RV. So in the bedroom, outside, inside, kitchen, everywhere. What you would see is the green light would go away simply with it having power from campground or generator. It has to be under a load to reset. Push the reset button and you'll get your green light right back.